people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to an interesting video because I don't think we've covered a hoax before on the channel so this one's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Getting straight to the point, there were, there were a few leaked screenshots of security breach roaming around on the internet for the past day or two. And now, personally, uh, I did not see them until they were already debunked. They got debunked pretty quickly, which I'm actually very surprised about, but then again, when you, if you guys haven't seen the screenshots, when you see them, you're gonna be just like, wow, people really believe that that was real? Because again, when I first saw them, they were already debunked. Um, so I, I kind of knew firsthand, but even looking at them, like, even if I knew it wasn't debunked, it's like, come on, you can, even, you can easily tell that that is not real. And if it was real, then damn, what was Steerwall doing for the past year? So there's a total of three screenshots that we're going to take a look at. Two of them feature characters and one of them features kind of like a main hub area for the game. And I cannot stress this enough, but this is not real. These are not actually screenshots from Security Breach. These are from a fan game of Security Breach that is going to be made in PS4 Dreams. Also, again, I mentioned this beforehand, but I was not in the loop when these were released because I was busy working on uh, the new place behind me, guys, look, I got a closet now, and I got a lamp, do you guys like it? Um, but yeah, I was working on the new office while all this stuff was going on, so if I missed some information, I'm sorry, I tried to gather as much information as possible, and I think I did a good job, but if I missed anything, tell me in the comments down below. Let's all smash the like at the same time. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So as far as I am aware, these images originated from 4chan and Reddit, just <laughs> the most creditable sources. Alright, so the first screenshot we are going to be looking at is this one. It looks like we are in some sort of kitchen area, and it looks like Glamrock Freddy is passing by the window. Either he's in another room, or he's outside of the building that we are in. Now, I don't really want to go into speculation territory, you know, like, oh, are we in a pizzeria? Is this a kitchen in a pizzeria? Or are we in a house? in the kitchen. I really don't care because, again, these are fake, these aren't real. So none of that stuff really matters. Um, I just wanted to address the images as a whole. So, Glamrock Freddy actually doesn't look that bad. You can definitely tell that it looks like it's probably mostly based off of um, Rockstar Freddy from FNAF 6, Pizza Simulator, um, with just a little bit of adjustments made it um, made on it to look like the new Glamrock Freddy. So again, looks like we have a flashlight, we're in a kitchen, he's passing by the window, unsure of what we have to do in this situation. Are we supposed to let him inside? Maybe he's a friendly character, maybe we just let him pass by the window like Phantom Freddy in FNAF 3. Uh, I don't know, and again, don't really care. So the second image we're going to be looking at is this one. It features Glamrock Chica. We are, again, near the kitchen area, and it looks like she's chasing after us. For some reason. If you look closely, I think that is a Vanny mask over near the, the far wall off to the left. I think that's Vanny's mask, and it looks like there's a soda bottle. <laughs> but none of that really matters. The main focus point here is Glamrock Chica herself. It looks basically identical to what we apparently are going to see in Security Breach because we haven't really seen Glamrock Chica. We've only seen her in action figure form, leaked by Funko. To be fair, all the models do look okay. For Dreams, which uh, I am aware of, and I know it's not really the most detailed of games, but when you really want to make a good game, you can. So, overall, this game doesn't look that bad. Again, at least the models look pretty good. The walls and the floors, meh, kind of, you know, basic. Uh, I think someone pointed out that these are just the basic assets for Unreal Engine 4 which I don't know if that's true because again, this is made in Dream, so I don't know if they have the same assets or if they just have similar ones. But either way, it's weird to have a stone wall going into a kitchen unless this is maybe like a wood-fired pizza place. If so, then how's pizza gonna get a job now? Yeah, so I don't know why Glamrock Chica is chasing after us. Maybe we ate her pizza, maybe she just saw us out of the corner of her eye as she turned the corner and we were trying to get to the kitchen. I don't know. And this final one is the one that, as far as I'm aware, again, originated from Reddit, and this one is of what looks to be the main hub area. As you can see, it looks basically identical to what the main hub looks like in Help Wanted, and this got me thinking uh, about how I want security breach to play out, you know? Do I want it to be a Five Nights style, you know, going back to the basics, or do I want it to be 
the Help Wanted style, with loads of minigames and lots of characters to interact with. But we're gonna talk about that later, let's get back to the image. So again, you got the TV monitor screen here, it says protect for some reason, so I guess whatever we do in these minigames we have to either be protected by someone or protect someone. You have the arrows to go to different minigames, and it looks like there's no indication of how many minigames there are, but there's certain protect um, category has Roxanne Arcade, Pizza Plex Hub, Laser Tag, and Fazbear's Pizza. I will say, this screenshot looks amazing. Again, none of these screenshots are actually real, they are all fake, um, but this one looks really, really good, and if it- honestly, right, this does look official. Especially the helpy up in the top left, oh, he looks so good, but yeah, this thing looks so real like the background of it with the logo and the the classic 80s 90s squares up top um those look really good the images for the mini games all look spectacular overall again this one looks amazing and going back to what i was talking about earlier do i want security breach to be in the help wanted format i don't know because again uh it's it's not something that we've had to think about really because we know nothing about the gameplay, so that leaves everything and anything up to interpretation. So what would you guys want? Would you want it to return to the Five Nights style back in FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, when we survived like seven nights total, including night six and custom night, maybe even a night eight? Or do you want it to have lots of minigames with lots of characters to, to uh, explore it, like Help Wanted? I don't know. It is very interesting, because um, I think we can all agree that there is most likely going to be some sort of free roam element, at least that's what I personally, as well as I know a lot of you guys, are hoping for in the game. We've been waiting like five years for it, ever since we saw the trailer for Sister Location, and we're like, you know what? It's finally happening. And then we kind of got free roam, and then Scott kind of just threw that idea out the window, but overall, it was great. And so I finally, finally want this to be a free roam game. Do I want the game to 100% be free roam? No. I feel like at some point I do want it to return to basics, go back to basics with FNAF 1 and 2, where we do survive the nights, you know, wait up till 6am. I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there because again, we have not seen any gameplay for Security Breach, so what the gameplay is going to be, we have zero idea. And, and I talk about this on every Security Breach video about how you know, the game is so hyped up and it is so much to live up for, uh, and whether or not it is going to live up to everyone's expectations is is unknown. You know, like, Cyril has so much pressure on them, and the fact that they have not said anything about Security Breach is, is good, but also bad. I said this in one of the actual leaked videos where we go over uh, the Funko leaks and the uh, Trends Calendar leaks, but I'm really glad that Steelwell are not saying anything. I'm really glad that Scott is saying stuff and not Steelwell, because that means that they are focusing on the game, they're working really hard on it, and I'm glad that Scott is doing all of the, um, all of the talking because, you know, he is not directly responsible for making the game. Again, if you guys don't know, Security Breach is not being made by Scott, it's being made by the people that made Help Wanted, uh, Steel Wool Studios. So I'm glad that Steel Wool are focusing on making the game and that's it. Of course they're, you know, making other games and doing their own thing, but I'm glad that they are not publicly going out and saying stuff. I'm glad that their main focus on is on making this game. As for release dates, I talk about this in every single video again, but uh, I'm still banking on at least a teaser for April 8th, maybe a trailer, that's that's like my main, main hope is a trailer for the 8th, but I think a teaser would work fine. It's actually interesting, ooh, look, I'm saying interesting again, um, because I've seen quite a few people talk about how they like not knowing anything about the game. They like having few teasers, they like not knowing anything about the gameplay or the characters, because when the game releases or when the trailer drops, it will be a huge surprise. As opposed to the other games, we'll say, like FNAF 2, FNAF 4, where we saw all the characters in the trailer, we saw all the characters in the teasers, so I, I don't know where I'm, where I would put myself, I don't know if I want to know more about the gameplay, about the characters, or if I just want to wait for the game and wait for the trailer to drop, I don't know. Again, that's another that's another job for you guys to discuss in the comments. The merchandise is actually releasing pretty, pretty soon. Uh, as for me, at least, as you guys know, I ordered all the action figures and I ordered like five mystery minis. So those ship out in like two weeks. They release on the 
uh, 15th of August, so they'll be here a couple days after that, so you can expect a review on them when they arrive at Meowse. I really hope they change up the action figures and the mystery minis. Uh, again, the mystery minis, I've, I've said this in past videos, um, but I don't think they look that bad. The action figures definitely, definitely do need a redesign because, again, as you guys know, they use a lot of reused parts, and they just don't really look all that good. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, I personally have never got any FNAF action figures, so I don't know how to compare them, but I still think that they could do better. Anyways, I've been talking for a bit, <laughs> not really about the images, uh, about the leaked screenshots of Security Breach, which again, are fake, they're hoaxes, they're not actually from the game, don't worry about it. When I first saw these screenshots, and again, I knew that they were hoaxes, but I only knew like a minute or two after I saw them, so when I first saw them, I was genuinely concerned. Because, again, we didn't know if they were real or not, so I got so, so legitimately afraid that that was what the actual game was going to look like. I got so scared, but luckily, they're not real, it's fine, we're all Gucci. So yeah, that is that. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching this video. Again, this is really exciting, going over hoaxes, hoaxes because it's something that we haven't done before on the channel. There's been a lot of FNAF hoaxes. Uh, throughout the past six years, right? Six, yep, we're coming up on the sixth anniversary pretty, pretty soon, so yeah. I'm really happy that we can finally cover one for the channel. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.